Hello everyone, welcome to Console and PC Gaming and today I'm going to go over a video I did a long while back which was quite successful and it was Cold Waters. It was like a submarine simulator. Now um, we're going to do a couple of uh, videos on the training bits and uh, maybe perhaps in the future we'll do some more on campaigns and missions. So I'm going to start this video to keep it short. I'm going to go into training mode. Uh, if you're wondering um, what my settings are, I've got everything on high. Um, I'm running on a 384 by 2160 on a RTX 2080 Ti. So we're going to go do some training missions. So let's have a look. Um, let's start first of all. We'll try and do two in this video to keep it short. I don't want to do, keep it too long. So we're going to click on basic torpedoes. So we're going to practice the camera controls using the periscope, uh, introduction to tactical map, and firing torpedoes. So okay, let's go and click start. And uh, this is the ship that we are going to get. Sorry, the submarine that we're going to get. The Sturgeon class submarine. So you can right click and you can uh, have a look at this ship by just uh, holding the right mouse button down and dragging the mouse. So you can see it's uh, it's not much to it, but uh, it must be quite effective, I suppose. So, um, yes, yeah, so we've got uh, Sturgeon class submarine, USS Puffer, SS9652. And we've got a new consignment and it's to, is it Commander Thomas Chesterton? And um, yeah, so there you go. Let's click accept and... Um, now it says here in the right hand side you'll probably just be able to make it out because of the um resolution it says that uh at the beginning of this mission you're presented with this screen showing your vessel's current state and local conditions close to disabled for training purposes in actual combat can be used to close in and style right okay it's just telling you what this this means so we're, we're just going to click on here all hands men man battle stations okay so this just tells us what to do. Shift F1 to bring up this, the uh, training window and uh, the arrows forward and backwards to go backwards and forward. So let's click on forward. So the camera says use mouse one or right arrow, right, left arrow, up arrow. So these are the arrow keys. I can use those up and down. So as you can see, that moves my camera about. And I also can uh, zoom in with equals or minus, equals or minus. Or I can use my mouse button. And I can say, I can hold the right mouse button down and I can uh, rotate, uh, move the mouse left and right, and I can see, and up and down as well, even I can see uh, what's around me. I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. So there you go. So, also, then we've got some other camera controls. So, F1 is S, F2 is the current contact. So, um, I don't know if it is the current contact at the moment, it would be a ship. Oh, there's an airplane there. F3 is a torpedo, which we haven't fired yet, and F4 is, there you go, it is an aircraft, I think, is it? Yeah, aircraft. So you can zoom in and out as well on on this one on the t on this uh, particular aircraft and do the same controls by holding down the rice the rice <laughs> the right mouse button and uh, just moving the mouse. Let's go back to our ship and under the water. It's F1. So there you go. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom out a bit. There you go. So uh, that's that we've done this. So let's click on the next button, which is uh, forward. Uh, it says press zero to raise my periscope. So you see the periscope being raised there, out of the water, there he is, so we're just moving a bit closer. <laughs> cool, eh? So the periscope allows you, obviously, to see uh, what's above water. Um, and uh, you raise it by using zero, and then when you've done that, you press P, and you can see that, that now we've got this, uh, we're looking through the periscope. So to uh, look through a periscope, all we need to do is um, move, the move the mouse uh, left and right by holding down the right mouse button, left and right, Okay, you can go up and down while it looks at or you can zoom in and out with the, the mouse wheel again. So can we, I can hear something in my speakers, like an aircraft. Where's it gone? Oh my god, what was that? What the hell? Oh look, there's a ship. So there you go, we found the ship. So if I zoom in on there, you can see there's a guy air up there, look, there's a couple of guys, and there's a, you can see the flag, you can see uh, some smoke coming out of it, etc. So that, that's that's pretty cool. Right, so um what I say now is, is it press Shift F1 to learn more about the periscope. So then it tells you that what we've just done is zero, uh, P to um, sorry P to raise the periscope and P to enter and leave the view of the periscope, uh, and what we've done here with the mouse wheel uh, or equals and minus keys even and left and right arrow. So uh, low light vision can be toggled on and off. So low light vision is this with O. So it can be a bit confusing. It was it zero and then O for the um, uh, what was I say low light vision. Okay, and place the target cross and use an eye will use laser ranging to accurately determine the range. So that's what we're going to do in a minute. So there we go. So that's the periscope view. Um, and then in the periscope view, look, we've got uh, mark target and, and low light vision. 
So let's click over to here again and go back to our periscope view. And uh, see here, we got low light vision. So that goes night time. And what is, what is this one? There's mark. So we're going to do that in a minute. We're going to use I to mark the targets. Let's move it, let's move it a bit over here. Press Call I. Sonar master one is classified as merchant. Okay, so he's classified this as a uh, merchant ship. So uh, let's move on here and see what it says. So the mini map displays your submarine contacts, torpedoes, and will be used to set uh, waypoint weapons. So yeah, the mini map is this one here. If you press tab, you can see that that's where we are as well. So that's the M1 alligator we've just identified, and that's our ship, the Sturgeon. So go forward again. So the map controls the same thing, left click, and um, using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And uh, uh, yeah, there's a few other controls, which it says here that we can, let's just get out of map view again and go here. So the backslash will center on our submarine, I think. Yeah, uh, and shift backslash will lock it there. So we don't bother with that at the moment. The tab is goes to full screen map mode. And uh, left click on your submarine, move your camera to your submarine. So you click on that and then move to the submarine. And also we can, get, we can select torpedoes, which I'll show you in a second. So let's go forward uh, one more. So use shift E to turn the event camera for your upcoming torpedo attack. So press shift E. Uh, hang on, did, I, did it come up? Did it? No. Where's my shift E camera? Shift E. Yeah, there we go. So there's our camera there. So we've got a, a torpedo camera view. So that's shift E. Uh, and now we'll be firing a, a specific torpedo called the Dumpfire Mark 16. And uh, so it's stationary, so we don't have to worry about that. So the tubes that we have to select are at the bottom right hand corner here. Yeah? So you can see all these tubes. So if we click on weapons, we've got two weapons only at the moment. We've got the Mark 816 and the Mark 37. So uh, we're going to fire the Mark 16, which is this one. And uh, all we need to do is click on that or press F. So we've clicked on it and then place a waypoint. So to place a waypoint, it's easy to go to your map by pressing the tab key. Uh, and uh, to press the, sorry, to do the waypoint, you press space, right? You see, you've got, you've got this, this line. And then uh, to move that over the, uh, the, the ship and then press the right mouse button. And there you go, there's our missile. So to, to see our missile go, there you go. You can see, you can track your missile pressing F3. There is, and you'd be hitting that ship in a second. So if I press F4, oh no, sorry, F2. Yeah, here we go. F2 shows the ship. F3 shows a torpedo. So our torpedo is going to hit that ship in a second. You see it going closer. You can zoom in again. Let's just go above ground and see what happens. Whoops. So that's going to be hit in a second by our torpedo. Let's go and see underneath. Let's capture this. It's getting a bit close. You can speed up time and press F9, but. Uh, I won't do that because it's a close target. So here we go, and then we'll see the ship disintegrate in a second. There we go, and uh, there's the ship going up in smoke and flames. So that's easy enough, isn't it? I mean, that's all you needed to do. So a couple of things. That's using the periscope, of course, which is um, when you when you can see a um, um, ship with a periscope, you can use that. But there's other ways of, of detecting ships. So that's cool. So that's pretty straightforward. So. Um, Okay, so that is it basically. We, we've just we've just killed that uh, ship and it's sinking, and uh, it will go down in a second. You see, um, it's going to water. You can see there's a big hole in it, and it stopped working, and it's gradually sinking. And all those um, what's that flag anyway? It's a merchant ship, wasn't it? But it's got guns on it. So you see, it was carrying uh, some weapons, tanks, and things like that. So that that's that's pretty straightforward. So let's leave now and click on uh, Escape and click on Leave Combat. So um, we are ready to leave the area. We've got no vessels nearby. Blah blah blah. Um, we're just going to leave combat. So we'll do one more, uh, and this time we I were going to do the um, wire guided torpedoes. So uh, this is a different type of weapon. So we we, use, we just looked at uh, basic torpedoes. We look at wire guided torpedoes this time. Click on Start. And yet again, uh, we've got uh, this class submarine, the USS Cavalla SSN684. Click Accept. And uh, let's click on All Hands Battle Station. Zero, zero, okay. zero. Designated Sierra 1. So, uh, Sonar new contact bearing 3, 2, 7. Designated Sierra 2. Okay, so the third column of the mini map shows the wire guided torpedoes data. So this is, this is it here, the weapon data. So, okay, okay. So, uh, CSE's course, the range, the bearing, range, range to enable, 
and TDR time to run, seconds left for weapon to run. So that will update as we fire our torpedo. So we're going to press Shift F1 now. We're going to go into and talk about the wire guided torpedoes. So um, once we've uh, read this bit, I'll explain the other bit above. So as we just said, the uh, the wire tube number is the, is the tube is where the is sort of the weapon sockets that it is in. So that's what uh, the WNPN data means. The courses, of course, is going to the range is how far away it is. The bearing is what bearing um, it, uh, what direction. Uh, is going as 90 degrees, 180 degrees, etc., etc. Uh, range to enable, uh, distance from weapon to its waypoint, and time to run seconds left for weapon to run. So also, uh, the other thing is, a wire guided torpedo will run to its waypoint. Uh, upon reaching it, it becomes enabled and applies the home insertion depth settings on that tube. So then it will, it will uh, when it gets to the waypoint, it will, it will use these things to sort of find its target. But you can, we can modify these. Uh, and uh, we can actually do it here. We can modify them by um, telling it to go straight or do snake or left or right, etc., etc. So we can do that manually as well. So uh, once, in, uh, I think it takes off in um, passive mode. So that means that you're listening for its target and then much harder to detect. And then we can switch to active mode. And active mode will use sonar to reach its target, but it's very loud, making us easy, easier for the ships to detect the torpedo. So again, like I mentioned here, we can tell a torpedo to go in a search in a straight line, a snaking waving pattern left and right, a left search and it just goes on a circle to the left, or right search goes in a circle to the right. So we can, we can do that, we can override it in the tube settings, which I'll show you in a sec. And uh, also the, uh, how, how shallow, how deep you want the, the, the depth of the torpedo to go. So um, also you can cut the wire. Now, apparently, if we cut the wire, which sometimes you do, the wire connecting the torpedoes to the flight control computer is fragile and intentionally may be broken. A wire may break on launch, which is unavoidable, and a wire will also be cut if a new weapon is loaded into a tube with a wire. So if you load a new weapon after that's been fired, I think that will cut the wire. So what happens then, the wire breakage while the torpedo is running can be minimized by moving slowly, keeping our submarine level, and keeping the weapon within a 60-degree arc of the Bovia submarine. So, uh, yes, with some disadvantages about the, 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 the wire being cut. So as long as the wire remains intact, we can change the settings, i.e. what I just mentioned. So when the wire is cut, we can't control it anymore. So that's quite straightforward, really. So, okay, let's go to the next bit. Uh, so we're seeing here, press tab. So again, we want to set the waypoint to, um, when are we going to go? Range 0, 20 KD. So first of all, um, I've got tube 1 selected. And now I'm going to go to range. Uh, what is it? You see here the range and the bearing. So the bearing it says is going to be uh, zero and range is 20 kd. Or is it 2 kd? No, 20. It must be this one. Is it this one? No. 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 Oh. Really? Oh. Okay. So we're going to just say do what it says 20 kd. That's weird. It's wants me to go up there. Okay, we're just going to set it by here, I think. I don't know why it's time to do that. So we're going to set it here. So I'm going to press the space bar, then right click. So I've set my torpedo, and now it's firing. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to adjust this course. Press F3, is our torpedo. We're going to adjust this course as, as we get closer so we can change the waypoint. So uh, let's have a look. So what we need to do, I'm going to change this torpedo here by uh, le left clicking on here. Look, I'm going to drag it. I've left clicked on, on this area, all where the square is, and I'm going to put over to S2 here. So I'm going to click on there. And there we can change its direction. See, it's changing direction because we're using the wire. So if I also go to weapons here, uh, and I can guide it by manual control, or I can set this um, weapon search. At the moment, it's just going straight ahead. Right, I can say to go left click, like a sneaky direction. So it will look for that um, ship by doing a sort of left right motion. So he's, he's already got the uh, the ship, there it is. And there, there's our poor ship, which is going to get drowned in a minute. So let's see if the torpedo actually hits there. Or do we have to take over manual control? So if I press A, well, it's, it's going to go past it by looks, isn't it? 
Yes, it's, isn't is it actually detecting it? No, it's not. So we might have to actually go into auto mode. Press A. And now that I've pressed A, I can actually... Oh, hang on. Oh, I haven't, do I? Well, what's happened to it? Ah. He's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know he's searching it, but why is he going up there? Because it was just right next to him. Is he going to actually hit anything? Um, right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. Uh, I thought I took control of that, but I didn't. So let's tr click on it again. Can I control it now? Yes. I can control it now. I pressed A to activate it. So let's see if we can hit that ship manually. So now we've uh, pressed A to activate the sonar and we've got manual control. So uh, 4 and 6 allow us to Four and six allow us to, to uh, go left and right. Four for left, six for right. Uh, eight goes down, five goes up. So we're going to try and hit that ship now with this um, missile in manual control. So we've switched it to manual control by pressing A, I believe. I have to double check. But I pressed A and again in manual control. So um, that's fair enough. So here we go. Uh, we're just going to zoom in. And there's a ship there above water. He hasn't got a clue what's coming, has he? Look at that. Poor guy. Go back and press F3, back to our missile. Let's zoom in a bit closer. And it looks like we're okay for depth. And um, let me just line it up. Is he moving away from us? He is, yes, he's moving. Okay, now I think he's got it, is he? Has he got a lock? Let's see. So I guided it and now I think it's taken over now. Hopefully the homing missile's taken over. We shall see. If not, we'll have to just do it manually again. There are some missiles which hit, which go automatically towards the target. So I'm not quite sure why, uh, if this one doesn't work, what we've done wrong here. But we'll try again in a second. So is it going to go towards the target itself? Yeah, it looks like it. Is it? Of course. There'd be countermeasures on some ships which will allow you, them to escape with... Um, Certain countermeasures to fool the missile or the torpedo, whatever you want to say. Well, it looks like it's heading towards that ship, and it's going to hit the back. Is that is that a Russian ship? It looks like it's got a Russian flag on it. So here you go. It looks like it's heading towards it. Is it going to hit it? It looks like it. Con yes, a hit. So there we go. So we guided it manually and then we, it, it, it picked up the, the fact that there was a ship there and guided itself towards it. So that's cool. Um, so once the torpedo reaches the waypoint and becomes enabled, here we go, this is what we said, it starts searching for the target. Now use the sensor search and depth set and providing it can no longer have its waypoint moved. Okay, so... Um, okay, we've done that, yeah, so that's good. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, we've done all that as well. Four, we activated the torpedo. And then shift four. Oh, we didn't do that. We didn't cut the wire because if we did cut the wire, then we wouldn't have sent any more commands to it. So because it was on a wire, we were able to control it, you see. So shift four cuts the wire, preventing further external control disabled during training. So it didn't work anyway. So wire guided torpedoes will home in on friendly vessels, will n not home in on friendly vessels, but one with a cut broken wire can. So be careful that if you do cut your wire, there's no friendly ships nearby. That's pretty cool. So uh, I think that's it. So um, let's have a look if we've got anything else. Uh, now we can use it. Okay. So let's see if there's any more ships. So there is another ship here. There's this one. So we, let's use uh, another torpedo. Let's click on this one here, number two. Press space bar uh, and then just zoom in a bit. And he's going this way. So we're going to try and go here. Move it just in front of him. And then press right mouse button. Aye, sir. And let's follow this missile, this mission, the no, mission, this missile or torpedo and see where it goes. Let's press F9 to speed it up a bit. And it looks like we're getting there. F9 speeds up and slows down. So you can see. Con, fire control. Well, he's found it. So um, let's see if you get this, this ship. A bit more, a bit faster. Okay. Looks like we're going to get the ship in, in near the engines. Oh, ho, ho. 
Awesome. That's ship number two gone. There you go. So, I think we've got one more to do, and then we'll, we'll end the video here. So, let's click on tube number three, press space bar, and just press right mouse button, and off we go. So, let's speed it up again, and see if we can hit this ship. So, now he's moving, see, so I might have to move this, because you see, he's moving. So, if I if I left-click on this here, so I can move it now, but I left-clicked on, um, on the waypoint, because he's moving, so I'm going to sign put it by, by here. So we could, because it's on the wire now, like I mentioned, we can still control it. So I can left click it, look and move it where I want. So I'm gonna just move it here, I think. And hopefully it'll intercept it. Then we have to go a little bit higher. So this is the third ship, these two are sunk. You can see that there's a sunk ship icon. So I left click on here and just move it a bit higher again. And we're catching up the uh, ship. So that's the good thing about these these particular torpedoes. I think they're the MK48. These and left click. Oops, damn, sometimes it doesn't always do it. Left click and then just move the mouse up and then and actually get it by here. Right click. So there's waypoints. So see if he let's see if he gets this. Yeah, there he is. Is he going to zoom in on it? F4. What sort of ship is this? Oh, why can't I see it? There we go. Is he going to actually head towards it? Press F9 a bit. No, so he hasn't. Like, he's going past it. So, what if I press A to activate it? No. Uh, there you go. I have to use the manual keys. So, this one for some reason didn't detect it. Doesn't matter. Oh, he blew up. He blew himself up. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, uh, what about, um, let's use this. Uh, reload, press R. Press R again. I'm going to try this missile. <coughs> and uh, let's press F9 to speed up time. So we load, he loads the missile up there, look. It's loading up. Call uh, torpedo room, tube one ready. Uh, he's ready, so let's press this bar. Uh, and that one. One. Let's see Aye, this sir. one. There's another missile type. Let's see if this one works. Uh, I've got this on uh, fast forward, as you can see. Let's go back to the map mount. Is this one going to actually guide there itself to it? It's quite a way, isn't it? It's moving quite fast. What we'll do now, let's find, we can find another torpedo. Let's click on this one. And stick another Mark 48 in. Press R again. There you go. So we put that in there and we'll send another missile towards it. There you go. So we'll send the second missile. Shoot two oh. one. Aye, sir. What's happened? Ah, I want it there. I want it. Oh. Yeah. There it goes. You've got two missiles going towards it now. So if you press F3, we've got two missiles traveling very fast towards that ship which we missed earlier on. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping we're gonna hit one of one of them's gonna hit. So let's get that. There. I, I think we've only got one left. <laughs> what happened to the other one? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what happened. It must have exploded somewhere else. So let's see. If we can catch this missile, no ship, I should say rather F nine. F nine comes in handy because obviously, if you just speed up time, rather than hanging about waiting, you you can just um, we press F one and go back to our submarine. There's our submarine. Okay, and there's the mini map again. So we can move the mini map around and see where the where where the ships are and where the missiles are so it looks like is it lost contact again it has is it i don't know what's happened there anyway so we had to oh hang on is it it's still there i don't know what happened to that missile it's lost okay it looks like he's run away from us but that's basically yeah lost contact but uh that's it so that's basic torpedoes and 
uh, was it the wire torpedoes I think they were called. So um, I might do another video on the uh, missiles and the um, detection systems as well. So hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave a like and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.